G'day riders. Man, I need a raise. No doubt, if you've read the title of the video, you're gonna know it's a tank raise that I'm talking about. A few weeks back, Rel gave her Iron 1200, a tank lift, which changed up the look of the backbone of her bike. I had been uh, dreaming about getting a bit of a tank lift done on the street bike for a long time, so I too ordered some parts off AliExpress. The, the cheapest little thing's about $15 to get here, and just like hers, they seem to be manufactured quite soundly. As with a lot of customizing, you can often do what seems to be a small task, but you can change the look of the bike drastically. As I've said in the past, really enjoy the hand-built look. So just lifting that tank at the front end two inches is hopefully gonna give it the unique look that I'm looking for. I recently wrapped my pipes, which I'm really, really happy with. I also recently put 14 inch apes on the bike and hopefully this little job, along with those wrapped pipes, are really gonna help with that home-built, chopped out look. This is actually quite a simple process. If you've seen Rel's video, I'll post it up here. It's a matter of removing the seat, loosening off the back of the tank so that it pivots up nicely, installing brackets on either side of the tank to lift it up at the front end. So uh, I'm just gonna get straight onto it. And it's at this point we discover that this bolt assembly is actually far too large to go through these parts that I ordered. So I'm gonna have to come up with a plan B, maybe go to the fitting shop and uh, see if I can get a thinner bolt. All right, so it's quite literally the next day. After work today, I went by a fastening shop and purchased a couple of stainless steel nut and bolt sets that will hopefully be suitable for this top end of the tank. I had actually thought about drilling out this hole in the little fitting because it's only about a millimeter too small, but I didn't want to compromise the strength of this item, particularly not knowing exactly how strong it is or how well it's been made. So rather than adjusting this, I went and got some quality stainless steel bolts that will fit an eight millimeter hole. One is 110 millimeters long and one is 120 millimeters long, just so I had options. I'm just gonna rip back into it, I'm gonna get that seat off, loosen off that bottom tank bolt, and get into removing this top tank bolt. I might just get a cloth or something balled up just to keep that tank raised. See how this goes. Just taking those little bolt fittings off the risers so you'll probably be able to see that it is bent to shape. And with that thread at the top facing in, this leg should bend out so that that attaches at the bottom and then kind of comes in and in behind this top part of the tank. So I've just got the 110 millimeter bolt. All the while just making sure that the at the top end that thread is facing inward. All right, so I've just put that bottom bolt through and hand tightened it. All right, let's get these top bolts on. I have just put a little bit of medium strength blue thread locker on there, along with the washer. So I just went round and had a wee look. It really has uh, changed the look quite dramatically, I think, even just for a wee two inch rise. There's just something about tilting a tank up even slightly. I guess it's almost one of the hallmarks of a home built bike. Those raked out choppers with the sports to tank and it's almost about seeing how much of an angle you can get that tank on. 
I'm liking this, I'm liking it a lot. All right, time to tighten things up. I've just spent a minute having a good look at it. There is just something about that Harley logo tilting slightly further upward. Got just a slightly meaner streak and the angle of the tank now really matches or blends in with the line of the seat. Just really pleasing to the eye. Now, keep an eye on upcoming videos because I am about to get this bevel seat, or one very much like it, custom upholstered. So keep an eye on future videos for that. Anyway, without further ado, here is your comparison on the Softail Street Bob with a stock tank fitted and then the tank with a two inch rise. 